RAID 0 vs RAID 1 An in-depth comparison for data storage and backup. Are you looking for more efficient ways to store and backup your data? If so, then you may have heard of RAID 0 and RAID 1 two popular methods for doing just that. In this video, we explore the differences between RAID 0 and RAID 1 so that you can make an informed decision when it comes to data storage and backup. What is RAID storage? RAID storage is a data storage technique that involves combining multiple physical disks into a single logical unit. There are many different RAID levels, each offering different levels of performance, capacity, and redundancy. The most common RAID levels are RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 5. RAID 0 offers the best performance but no redundancy, meaning if one disk fails, all data is lost. RAID 1 offers good performance and redundancy by mirroring data across multiple disks, but is limited by the capacity of a single disk. RAID 5 offers a good balance of performance and capacity by striping data across multiple disks with parity information for error correction. What is RAID 0 and how does it work? RAID 0 is a data storage virtualization technology that combines multiple physical disk drive components into a single logical unit for the purposes of data redundancy, performance improvement, or both. RAID 0 is typically used to increase performance or create additional redundancy by mirroring data across multiple drives. When used for performance, RAID 0 stripes data across multiple drives, which allows the reads and writes to be spread out and therefore happen faster. When used for redundancy, RAID 0 creates an identical copy of data on each drive, providing protection against failure of any one drive. To set up a RAID 0 configuration, you will need at least two physical disk drives and a software or hardware RAID controller. What is RAID 1 and how does it work? RAID 1, also known as disk mirroring, is a data storage redundancy technique that copies and stores data on multiple disks. This is done to provide protection against data loss in the event of a disk failure. When using RAID 1 with two disks, data is written to both disks simultaneously. If one disk fails, the other disk can be used to access the data. When using RAID 1 with three disks, one disk is used as a standby in case of failure of one of the other disks. RAID 1 provides good protection against data loss due to disk failure but does not protect against data corruption. Advantages of using RAID 0 RAID 0 is the fastest and most efficient RAID configuration. Advantages of using RAID 1 One advantage is that it is very reliable. This is because if one drive fails, the other drive can take over and keep the system running. Disadvantages of using RAID 0 RAID 0 is not a backup solution and offers no protection against data loss. If one of the drives in a RAID 0 array fails, all of the data on the array is lost. RAID 0 also offers no redundancy, meaning that if one drive in the array fails, the entire array fails. Disadvantages of using RAID 1 In addition, RAID 1 offers no redundancy if one of the drives fails, as all data is stored on both drives. Summary. Comparing RAID 0 versus RAID 1. When it comes to data storage and backup, there are two main types of RAID, RAID 0 and RAID 1. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages, so it's important to know the difference between the two before making a decision. RAID 0 offers high performance and capacity, but is less reliable than other RAID levels because it doesn't have any redundancy. This means that if one drive fails, all data on the array is lost. RAID 1 offers lower performance and capacity than RAID 0, but is more reliable because it uses mirroring to create a copy of data on another drive. So, which RAID level is right for you? It depends on your needs. If you need high performance and capacity, then RAID 0 is a good choice. However, if you need reliability more than anything else, then RAID 1 is a better option. Conclusion RAID 0 can provide faster performance but with no redundancy or fault tolerance, whereas RAID 1 offers slower performance with more data protection. Ultimately, the choice between these two configurations depends on what you need from your storage system in terms of speed, capacity, and reliability. If you need fast speeds and high capacities without compromising on data security, 
A combination of both RAID 0 and RAID 1 might be the right solution for you. Thanks for watching video goodbye.